Hello there, adventurers. Ben. Danielle. You're watching the Malik, Malik Adventures. Adventures. And we got something new for you guys today. Danielle doesn't know too much about this box because it's something that I went ahead and did. But who suggested it? You did see it and you did share it with me. Uh, we have the first installment of the Culture Fly Star Wars box. Uh, I guess it's called the Galaxy Box. Star Wars Galaxy Box. But we'll talk more about it in just a second. Before we go too far into the video, make sure you've liked the video. Subscribe. Commented down below. And... Snag, subscribe, comment. Hit the like button. Uh, it, it has like. Oh. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. So you get notifications every time we post. But first, yeah. Culture Fly, as you guys might know from other videos in our channel, we used to do the Supernatural Culture Fly box. We still do it. Yeah, we still receive it. We just don't record it. Yeah. Uh, so, a few months ago, when I say a few months, I mean like earlier in the year, like March, Danielle saw this on Culture Fly and sent it to me saying, hey, you need to get this. Uh, it was supposed to come out in the end of July, but then it got pushed back because of delays. Then it got held up because it was held at the Port of L.A. And then finally it made its way here. However, I do have some grievances with Culture Fly. It's supposed to be a mystery box. Okay, mystery box. But they, they do share spoilers. So they share two of the items in the box. And you get seven to ten items. And it's $50, just so you guys know. Um, and it's, is it quarterly just like this? Yes, it is quarterly just okay. like the um, Supernatural. Supernatural one. And actually, I just saw an email for the next one uh, today. Mm. Uh, it's, it's like Darth Vader themed, if I Ooh. remember correctly. But uh, the grievance I have is that they shared all the items on their Facebook page that come in the box. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of people were upset about that. I did my best to skirt around. All of it, because I like to be surprised, and I know you like to be surprised. Right, it's okay to have a few, yeah, like, or like two. Like one or two spoilers, yeah. but not the entire box. So I kind of know maybe four or five items of what's inside. I have no clue. Uh, Danielle has, yeah. So let's go ahead and open it. I really love this box because, if you look at it, first the design is cool. Um, but the design is in... The, the format of Imperial Credits. We have the Imperial symbol here, and then just the design is what the actual credits look like, um, depending on the, the currency, or the, the value of the currency. So as we open it up, Danielle's gonna take the surpriser away. There's the card. The, the card, there you go. Um, and on the inside we see that it says Star Wars Galaxy Box. And then this is what we see. So let's see what is in here, Miss Danielle. Go ahead, you can pull the first item out. Ooh. Yeah, this is what Daniel's going to show you is one of the uh, spoilers. It is a rain jacket. Windbreaker. Uh, and on the front, we have the Mudhorn symbol, which if you watch The Mandalorian, I should also say this is the, the, the Mandalorian theme box. Um... Din Djarin in The Mandalorian kills the Mudhorn, which gives him uh, the honor to put a symbol on his... Um, I feel like I have a person with their I arm know, wrap around I know, it feels like yeah. my favorite Martian. Yeah, like the it's, a, it's a ghost. Yeah. Ha. No, not the ghost, oh. the suit. Oh, the suit. But uh, to get a symbol on it, because he kills the Mudhorn with uh, Grogu Baby Yoda's help, so he gets that symbol put on his armor. Then, what's it look like on the back, Daniel? Ah, the Mandalorian. This is the way with Din Djarin's helmet uh, and then uh, a symbol in the background as well. Some chevrons, if you will. Pretty cool. Um, this is one of the main reasons why I got this box. Because it is, I don't have a lot of windbreakers for rain jackets. So yeah. I so thought, why were you correcting me? Windbreakers and uh, rain you, jackets are the same. When you look at the thing, it's going to say windbreaker. 
Uh, next item, this is also one of the spoilers. Um, it is a desk organizer. It is a magnetic desk organizer. Ooh, that one's cute. It is cute. This will go on my desk at work. It is a Baby Yoda or Grogu, depending on who how you like to call him, reaching out. Or the child. Or the child. There you go. And he actually has the shifter knob from uh, the Razor Crest, which is uh, Din Djarin's, the Mandalorian's ship that he likes to play with. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this. Why Ben is getting that out? I have a water bottle. I will get out the plastic. Very good. A little water bottle. So we got some foam here. It is the Mandalorian. Yeah. Anything else? No. Nope, just him. Little cute little water bottle. Yeah. Come on. Oh, this is actually bigger than I thought it would be. Ah, it's way cuter than the box. Yeah. So, there he is with the, the shift knob from the Razor Crest. Uh, so, I'm definitely going to be putting uh, paper, clips? paper clips and everything inside of it. So, um, maybe I'll take a picture after I do that. Make it look like he's using the force to play with it. Uh, next up is... Oh, ooh, We have a little... Messenger bag, shoulder, shoulder sling. This would be good for Disney. Uh, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to open it. On it, we have the mud horn symbol again. It opens up, we see Baby Yoda, and we have the Mandalorian symbol there. And let's see, we have two front pockets here. And then, thanks Astro for moving the camera. We have, wow, one really large pocket. So that's pretty cool. And then the strap. This is a cool bag. I don't know. I'll find a use for it. I like it, though. What do you think? For your, um, you can add that to your zombie apocalypse, zombie. Oh, my go bag? Yeah. That's a whole, that's a story for a whole different day. What you got there? A kitchen towel. Oh, that's cute. It's actually pretty big. It is a pretty big towel. Let's say here at the bottom. Precious Cargo, since that's what he refers to uh, Baby Yoda. Uh, next I have, oh, we got, a, we got a lapel pin, or just a pin. Ah, and it is Luke Skywalker. Um, no spoilers here, but uh, watch the last episode of The Mandalorian Season 2. It'll make a lot of sense. I recommend watching all the way from the beginning, but uh, yeah. What you got there? Something for Astro. Is it a bandana? It is a bandana. Ooh, it's a Boba Fett bandana. That's Boba Fett's helmet with the Mandalorian symbol. Um, What's this symbol? Around the side. That? I have not a clue. That's a great question. I don't. I haven't seen that one before. Very cool. Oh, that's cute. We'll show that here in a second. Uh, so up next we have a notepad. Oh my gosh, and this character's name. Oh no, no it's not. I remember. Sometimes I... Astro, okay. get out! Hey, what are you doing? Get and your the bookcases! You silly dog. So we have a notebook with Moff Gideon on the front with the dark saber. It says, uh, long live the Empire. Again, another character that you'll meet in um, The Mandalorian, end of season one, and then he's a big um, big person in season two. But on the inside, it's blank pages with the Imperial symbol on it. So a pretty, pretty nice little notepad. Like and one it. thing that Culture Fly likes to do is include art print yes so this is i don't know benjamin it is the first interaction of ahsoka uh which is uh, i'll tell them all, with uh with grogu this is a, a scene in season two uh halfway through this is the first live action look we get at ahsoka um after Jin, Din Djarin is looking for a jedi i'm not going to get into the entire lore of uh ahsoka there's just so much to unpack there, and I don't have the time for it. But basically, he finds her to help communicate with Grogu and to get him on to the right track. Again, watch the show. Then, Danielle, there's something in the box, yeah? 
<laughs> there is something in the box. <laughs> it is the child in his bassinets. That's cute. It is very cute. I like this box. Yeah? Even though I knew some of these items, I didn't know what they really were. Um, man, I don't know. Favorite item. What's your favorite item? This one's really cute. You like the, the magnetic desk yeah. organizer of uh, Grogu? Yeah. Because you can use it as decoration or functional. Yeah. He's going to be more functional decorative to me at my, at my school. Because I don't have anything that holds all my paper clips and everything. So are you choosing this too? No, no. I'm going with the... Windbreaker jacket. Oh. Yeah. And do you have the card, the spoiler card? Yes, I do. So here we go. Let's see. It is a windbreaker. We have a pin, a messenger bag, art print, notepad, magnetic desk organizer, and uh, kitchen towel and a water bowl. So there's everything that was inside this box. Turned out to be nine items, uh, which I think this is this was worth waiting for. Yeah, and again, with Culture Fly, we say this with the Supernatural boxes. It's definitely worth that money. And you, these items are only through these boxes. Yes, the only other way is to get it off of eBay where they might be, if you know what I mean. All right. I'm looking forward to the next one. This yes. was a good box. Uh, but until next time, my friends, uh, make sure you stay safe. Stay magical. And keep adventuring. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.